this week's edition of FCTV. I'm Connor. And I'm Angel. Here's what's happening at the Creek. As our school year winds down, we dedicate this show to Frank Creek class of 2022. But first, a few announcements. Are you interested in playing basketball for the girls' basketball team? Please come to a quick informational meeting this Tuesday, May 24th, after school. It will be held in the cafeteria. You will find out about summer workouts, tryouts, and season start dates. See Ms. Tabor in the AP office for more information. Attention graduating seniors. Do you want a permanent job? There are many positions available through this program, Everybody Counts. Employment could begin right after graduation on June 3rd, full time with benefits. Please apply by June 30th. And here is also a link that will be updated weekly by Coach Abel for those students and graduates interested in jobs in our community. Attention students 17 or older, do you want a summer job? This is for reverend residents of Jefferson County and it is a full-time first shift until August 3rd. Please apply by May 20th so you can begin working June 8th. Students, it is easy to get down on yourself when things aren't going good. Here's a reminder from reporter Avery Gapehart to get help before it's too late. Thanks, Avery. And it's also really important to think, take care of ourselves and don't give in to peer pressure. Let's take a look at this PSA from reporter Team Chin. Guys, look at this new vape I got from a senior. <gasps> I'm practically addicted. I have one too. Do you have one too? Oh, um, no, I don't really give vaping. Um, I'm in track. I don't want to risk my lungs. Don't be such a wimp. Isn't vaping safer than smoking anyways? Come on, you can try mine. Pumps. Don't give in to peer pressure or false information. Did you know that teens are 16 times more likely to vape than adults? And over 30% of teens who vape now will start using cigarettes within six months. Vaping has caused over 2,800 cases of severe lung injury. I refuse to be a part of this. Thanks, team. Congratulations to these seniors for earning six hours of college credit and the cinematography pathway this school year. That's great. What are you doing after high school, Connor? Uh, I'm attending the University of Kentucky. What about you? I'm attending the University of Louisville. And let's see what these other seniors are doing. So I plan on attending the University of Louisville, uh, the JB School of Engineering for Computer Science. Engineering is my major, but just in general, I want to join the tech field and um, kind of use like coding and engineering. Those are my main interests, really and maybe get my master's after my bachelor's, but yeah, those are my plans. And after uh, school, I plan on going to summer camp for a while to uh, counsel for kids, and then I'm going to college, Moorhead State University. Um, I'm going to college, um, and after college, I plan on either being an international teacher or a nurse. After school, I plan to go to UofL to study theater. I'm going to the University of Kentucky to study interior design for the next four years. And what are you doing after high school? I am, uh, I'm going to be interning with the school and doing gardening and I'm going to be working at a plant nursery so I'm just going to be grooving and smoothing. That's good. Looks like I'm going to go to college, almost flunk out a semester, uh, but somehow pull it together enough to 10 years later be a teacher. Yep. My name is El Haji Seiko Drame. And what are you doing after high school? Uh, after high school, I'm going to a uh, college at Hanover. It's in Indiana for biology and I'll play soccer there too. And what are you doing after high school? Dispatching and firefighting. 
And what are you doing after high school? Uh, continue tracking college, trying to find some programs for culinary. Now a message from reporter Kate Parks reminding all of us to buckle up when driving. Thanks, Cade. Next week is our last week of school. And here are the s school events for seniors for next week. On Monday, May 23rd, seniors will be having a How to Adult 101 day. On Tuesday, during your English classes, seniors will have cap and gown photos taken in the large gym. So make sure you look your best. This is also the final day in class for seniors. Later that evening, we will have our sun senior sunset slideshow on the football field at 8 p.m. There are some refreshments here also. Seniors don't miss this. Wednesday, May 25th is a full day of senior events. First, we have graduation practice in a large gym. Then the senior final walk through. And last is the senior field day on the football field. On Thursday, May 26th, while everyone else is in class, the seniors will be having a final graduation practice at Broadbent Arena at 8 a.m. If you need transportation, don't forget to sign up for the bus. You know some of us may never be in these walls again. And to add to your memories, here's a look at the scenes from Fern Creek High School from reporter Nadine Mohammed. And these students are having a happy birthday this month. Happy birthday.
for this week's edition of FCTV. I'm Angel. And I'm Connor. Only four more school days. Have a great and safe summer. Congratulations, Congratulations seniors. Bye, Fern Creek. Bye, Fern Creek. Bye, Fern Creek. Peace out, Fern Creek. And peace out, Miss Hinkles. Bye, Fern Creek. Bye. Fern Creek. Um, goodbye, Fern Creek, and goodbye, Mr. Fowler and Miss Fowler. Um, you guys helped me out a lot, and um, I just really seen myself grow. Um, freshman year, I was really shy, and now I'm more outgoing, so bye, Fern Creek. Bye. Bye, Fern Creek.